Okay, we've got a Golf 7 GTR with a very common problem. You can see how it's leaking there. From the water pump. On a GTR, Golf 7, the water pump sits right inside there. You can barely even see it. I'll go in with the light now. But in order to get it out, you would have to start by stripping these panels, taking out the complete airbox, and then you can get access to the water pump inside. Okay, once you remove that, you take out the airbox. So you just loosen it in the clamp here. Okay. And now you would have to remove this pipe here. There you can see the water pump. There it sits inside there. Okay, loosen the loose pipe underneath and then loosen the clip holding the cable. And on top you can see we've already loosened here. We'll take this pipe out completely and then we'll loosen it on the turbo at the back. Okay, you can see the final one, it's quite difficult. That T30 there, then you can see the whole pipe is loose. It's quite difficult to get out, but not impossible. You can see. Alright, and now you can start to see the water pump over there inside. You still have to remove all of these pipes and the harness and as well as the throttle body. Yep. Alright, then the next step is to get the up pipe out on the turbo and then to get the throttle body off. As you can see He's busy at the bottom there ratcheting on another T30 that's holding the up pump. All of this in order to get access to the water pump which is slowly emerging. Right, once the pipe is off on the throttle body, then you'll see the screws are just up here. Usually use a socket and you get inside there. Then once the throttle body is off then it's quite easy. You can see we've already started unplugging all the plugs and we'll start now taking off the various water hoses. Just a note, be very careful of this pipe. It's very brittle and very common for guys to break it. Okay, there you can see the final bolt is coming out for the throttle body. Now you can actually see there's the actual water pump that we're changing. So we just got all these pipes and stuff to remove and then we'll be able to get the water pump out. Okay, you'll take all the wiring clips and then there's a little plastic bracket. You can see the little bracket here, this one. It's got some bolts underneath. Then you would just use the clip pipes. You can see these clips. You undo all the clips, then this pipe would come off, and then you can get to access to the rest of the water pump. Once that pipe is off, and the wiring harness holder is removed, then we have access to the water pump. Right, once the water pump is exposed, you see there's still a small pipe to remove, and then we'll take off this cover here, which covers the belt. It's got a bolt here and a bolt on the other side. Then the actual pump is held on by a couple of bolts inside here. You can see them in the background there. There's one, there's another one, two on top, there's one in the space here, and there's one underneath. It's a bit difficult to get to that back bolt. Ah, right, then you can see there's a belt which you just slip off.
can just use a screwdriver to push it. There you go. Right, so you can see there are the bolts, the T30 is there, T30 there, I think there's one inside there at the bottom. The bottom, so there you can see there's one there, and I think one on the other side. Okay, a bit difficult to get to them, but you just got to loosen all those bolts, and then we can take the water pump out. This is the replacement pump from Borsum. You can see much easier where the bolts are. There's one bolt there, one bolt there, one bolt there, one there, and one inside there. Then the water pump will come off. You can see we almost got this one stripped. Okay, so the pump is completely loose. And you can see it just comes out this way. Let's not let it the last thing. Just the plug. Plug on the back there. Can't really see it. Take it off. And then I put it in the drop. Yeah. And there you can see how this pump has water marks all over it, how it was leaking. And there goes the new pump. Right, you can see on the back we have this piece here. This fits inside here. What you just have to do is replace the O-rings here and put a bit of sealant. Because this fits into the back of the oil cooler housing. See inside there, there's a small hole where this fits, locates into. Right, the next thing we need to fit is a new belt. Uh, we just drop the bolt there. The belt fits inside there. It's got a number 12. We use the number 12 spanner. And that bolt is opposite. You will need somebody to hold the crank on this side, otherwise the engine is going to turn. Once that bolt is loose, you can take it out. It, the kit does come with a new bolt and a new belt. All right, then you can see, there the pulley came off. Fits inside like this. Bolt. And then it does come with a new bolt. You can see, let me just try to focus it there. The thread is opposite. You can see that's the bolt with the opposite thread. And here's the old belt with the pulley. That fits inside the space. You can see it fits there's a little shaft sticking out. And that's where the belt fits. Right, you can see the new belt is fitted. The new bolt and the pulley. And with our spanner, and then just tighten it. It is a taper pulley. It's a little bit difficult to get in there. They don't make it easy. Okay, we put the new o-rings on and now we're just going to put a tiny bit of sealant on it so we can fit it into the pump. Right, the easiest thing to do is to insert a little union at an angle like that then you can bring the water pump and it will meet at the back otherwise it's very difficult to line it up. Right, you can see we've got the whole pump in. Put a light here. The pump is in the space. See the belt is on, but we haven't tightened any of the bolts yet. The plug is in on the side, and we've pushed it in. We just have to line up the bolts on the top. And you must just remember, you can see on the old pump, there is locating pins. 
So if you try to force it, you're going to end up cracking the water pump. So when you're lining it up, make sure you're watching those pins. Right, and you can see, you put in the top bolts. And then you can, you can just see the dowel in the corner there. You can see the dowel in this place. Okay, and once you've finished reassembling everything, you can just add some antifreeze. <laughs> 